Hello, welcome back to my channel. This is Ria, and today I am doing a second part of the BTS members Tarot Reading video. I'm doing this, I'm pre recording this ahead of time because I'll be really busy this whole week. So I don't think I have enough time to actually sit down and relax to do Tarot Reading and upload it really fast so I'm just going to be pre-record this and I'll post it up this up on Sunday uh, right now today is Sunday or Saturday yeah today is Tuesday so four days ahead I hope you guys don't mind again um, in terms of talk with things everything's entertainment purpose only please take what resonates because it may not necessarily be true it may not apply to everyone um, plus, targeting should not be considered actual prediction. Um, like I said, um, I'm just being what is, I see. So yeah, take what resonates. Okay. Um, so last time I did R, M, J, and V. Today, I'll be doing the, the rest of them. So this is going to be a long video, um, please pause this video um, and or click on the timestamp down below. I'll try to uh, time it this is the best I could. So just give me a moment to write things down. So right now, um, I'm going to, the first one I'm going to do will be sugar. Yeah, I'm going to sugar uh, and then sugar, J-Hope. German and then Jungkook. I'm saving the best for last. Like German and Jungkook is like the most popular from what I can tell by you guys. So, so let's see. Two twelve is sugar. Okay, let's get started. I have everything cleansed um, with the Palo Santos and have my candles lighted so let's get started okay so like last time i'm going to be using the shadowscape deck which could be only be upright but it could be in reverse but for some reason it's meant for upright for those who don't know anyways uh what is going on with sugar so guys, I can enjoy the night. I'm going to tell me what's going to happen, what's going on, what's coming to say. What's going on? Sure. 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 Also, be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the like button if you if you like this video, and comment down below and let me know what you think. Also, um, I'm hoping to, I think I maybe in the future, maybe next year, I might start doing astrology tower reading. I'm not sure if I should or not. If you like the idea, please let me know. I might consider it next year. Not this year, but next year. Okay, two cards, one top up. Okay. Okay, so the first card is the devil. Temptation. Four cups. Indecision, deciding. Okay. So these are the, the cards that pop up, but so. Okay, past, present, current, future, and outcome. Bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Pentacles, 
Oh, completion. Completion, uh, wish fulfillment, wherever it, wherever it is, uh, he has the fulfillment, completion. So yeah, so that's the um, bottom of the deck. Let's look at the past. The past, he is the two of pentacles juggling. Trying to juggle, trying to balance things out, multitask, um, trying to keep in balance, taking everything at once. Probably showing work, a lot of work at once, trying to balance. I'm getting more of a career ethic here. In the past, um, so the present moment, we have the Ten of Cups. Wish fulfillment. Happiness. That's good. Call it. But we have two, two tens here. So the current future we have is three of wands. Something is coming his way, or he's going there, or he has decided on something. Three of wands. Pretty good cards for um, sugar at the moment, but we're going to have to clarify it. So at the moment, um, he was juggling in the past, probably due to career. In the current moment, he has his wish fulfillment, happiness, and he's moving forward towards a goal or he has something set and he's going towards it or maybe something's coming towards him. Uh, I think the wish for the present moment, the Ten of Cups maybe is representing that they won the AMA, maybe. Maybe he has won the AMA and it's like a completion. Maybe that's what it is. Uh, there is however temptation and four cups that pops up. So maybe some kind of addiction or temptation maybe is because I mean four cups is all about indecisiveness. So she, she's probably like not sure about something, decide whether to take it's like you're not sure. If you look at the cards for the four cup for the four of cups, yeah, four cups. You see, it's just wallowing there. It's just like not really looking at the cups behind it, more looking at the water. Maybe it is, um, and the devil maybe is like a work addition, maybe. It could be, who knows, uh, but we have to get, uh, clarify to see. Okay. Please clarify the Two of Pentacles. Please clarify the Two of Pentacles. So what's uh, signifying Two of Pentacles is the Ten of Cups again. Oh, it pop, it pop up again. Uh, followed by the Five of Wands, some kind of conflict, and Three of Coins. So there was some kind of conflict, like there was some juggling, conflict, but the thing is he has the Three of Coins. So. It's, you can see, it's like this person in the field of coins is happy, but in the background, there's all these demons or enemies, maybe. Who knows? But it's showing happiness. It's like not caring the world, but yet, um, which is quite true, even though he's being defensive or fighting, there's a conflict going on. But even so, there is happiness, which fulfillment in your hand. So, and because 
the fact that the present moment he has the ten of cups again so i'm seeing here that whatever is going on um uh, even despite the conflict despite all the juggling there is some kind of growth success recognition because of this maybe uh is this he is successful and the bad people you know these two in the background are the people that are jealous or haters maybe who knows? I mean, BTS do have some haters, some jealous people. I mean, it's not the first time. So this is what I'm seeing for the past. So let's look, let's clarify the present, the Ten of Cups. I mean, so far so good, like for sugar. Please clarify the Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups. Please say thank you. It's very good. I get you. Please clarify for me the Ten of Cups. Please clarify the Ten of Cups. Please say thank you. Please clarify the Ten of Cups. Please say thank you. Okay. First card is the Four. New beginnings, followed by the strength in reverse, hmm. and the real fortune in reverse. Interesting cards. So, even though his present moment is of wish fulfillment, um, happiness, and which helps him go for new beginnings because of the fool, um. But he have the strength and the wheel of fortune in reverse. Um, usually, um, strength in reverse is, as it mentions, like lack of strength, lack of will, lack of courage, maybe weakness. I'm probably seeing more with self doubt. Like maybe he couldn't believe this is happening. Maybe there's some self doubt and. Maybe whatever fish, even though he's like this is wish fulfillment, remember it's like maybe he's not satisfied, maybe he still has some disappointment, maybe, or maybe it's a lack of control because the real fortune is all about lack of control when it's in reverse. So, actually, I'm going to clarify them. Clarify the real fortune. I'm just confused about that one. Please clarify the real fortune. Please clarify the real fortune. In reverse. Please clarify the wheel for you in reverse. Oh. Okay. Some cards pop up. Okay, so we have the world in reverse. In completion. Um, eight of Wands, fast moving pace. And the Hierophant. I'm seeing uh, maybe disappointment, or maybe from the company, or... He he getting disappointed from the company or maybe he's like feeling some kind of tradition maybe because this is this helping i feel it's more about foundation tradition i don't know why but it's like it's not complete maybe it's not enough because sometimes people some companies feel like it's not enough they want you guys to do more Sometimes it can be like that, and it's all, or maybe it's moving at fast pace because of the eight of wands. So maybe that is it. Okay, let's clarify these three of wands for the current future. Please clarify the three of wands. Please clarify the three of wands. Thank you. 
Two of Cups. Some kind of union, partnership, or relationship. Followed by the star, wish fulfillment. Temperance in reverse, imbalance. So he's, or rushing. So what I'm seeing here is that he's moving towards uh, whatever goals he's setting towards. He has decided where to go or where it's come, or, or maybe something's coming towards them. And it becomes like some kind of union, a wish fulfillment for him. But it becomes, but it's kind of in a reckless way, it's impatient way. It's coming too fast or maybe, or maybe just an imbalance. Because Tempest in Reverse is all about imbalance, uh, lack of harmony, and sometimes recklessness or impatient. Because in the upright, Tempest is all about patience, balance, harmony, if you look at it. But it's in reverse the temperance. So that was, is what I'm seeing here. Okay, let's see the outcome. Let's look at the outcome. The outcome we have the Knight of Cups. Ah, oh, maybe some kind of offer. Some kind of offer from the heart, emotion wise. Okay. Please clarify the Knight of Cups. Please clarify the Knight of Cups. First card, the four wands in reverse. Second card is two of coins in reverse. Three of swords. Okay, interesting. So whatever the outcome may be, there may be some kind of heartbreak for him. Maybe it's about love, I, but I, in a way I don't feel it's love. I don't sense it. But then this card came out, it's like, some kind of family, maybe something to do with families, um, some kind of upheaval in her his family life, or something that causes him to feel a heartbreak because it's three of sorts. But almost he's not juggling anymore because two of coins is in reverse, like a lack, almost maybe recklessness, um, disorganization. So, whatever the offer may be, or maybe whatever he's going towards. It's causing this upheaval. Hmm, it was a good read until that outcome came out. Um, let's uh let me clarify the bottom of the deck, which is the ten of pentacles. Please clarify the ten of pentacles. Please clarify. Oh, the devil came up again. Please clarify the ten of pentacles. Please clarify the ten of pentacles. Eight of Cups in reverse, followed by Knight of Wands in reverse. Okay, definitely some kind of temptation, some kind of addition is going on that is related to this Ten of Pentacles. And he's not walking away from, he's not moving forward, not walking away from this temptation or addition he's in. Um, plus he has a Knight of Wands in reverse. Which is basically there's a lot of maybe maybe there's some kind of abuse, jealousy, or maybe some arrogance, but it's like also feel like recklessness as well, because there is some kind of feeling of recklessness going on in this reading. Um, but yeah. Okay, let me. Uh, so that is the reading, but I will also pull out some advice cards for sugar. Because this, at first it was originally really good read, but then it becomes really downhill.
Facebook, what kind of gift of ice can you give to sugar? He said, thank you, Spirit Guys. What advice can you give to sugar? Please thank you. My stuff you like. What advice can you give to sugar? Please and thank you. What advice can you give to sugar? Please and thank you. Okay. West at renewal. Let's see. What's the card say? West at renewal. Number 25. So, possibly this is telling him to just rest because he's, oh, like I said, he might be having a work addition, um, which causes him to be reckless in a way, like overstressing himself, which is telling him to, the, the spirit guys is telling him to rest and have a renewal, or maybe have some kind of positivity, or ask for help maybe or maybe allow assistance and try maybe telling him not to overburden himself maybe not to show this this all on his own because he is not alone in this that is what i feel like spirit guys are saying here so i hope that uh helps resonates if it does, please let me know in the comments down below, okay? So I'm just going to move on to J-Hope. So J-Hope is 22.15. Okay. Okay. Spirit guys, I can show. Please tell me what's going to happen with J-Hope. What's going to come to me this way? Please love, tell me. Uh, Please tell us. Please tell me what is going to happen to J Hope. What's going on his in his life? What's going to happen to this day? Much love and appreciate it. At least no cause is popping up. So the past, present, current, future, and outcome. Bottom of the deck, we have the Seven of Swords. Hmm. Some kind of betrayal or deception, maybe. Okay, let's look at the past. The past, we have the chariot moving, movement. Moving forward. Present moment, we have the Nine of Pentacles. Current future, Ten of Swords. Hmm. So, there'll be in the current future. There's some kind of misfortune, desolation, um, maybe some kind of burdens to bear, or maybe he has some kind of end of delusions, like whatever is happening, or maybe he had a wake up call because we do have the seven swords. Maybe there's some kind of deception or betrayal going on. Maybe who knows? Um, But in the present moment, he has the Nine of Pentacles, which represents balance. Um, but it's all about material, maybe like material or discipline in order, or maybe understanding and appreciating the wealth that one already possess. Like a 
grateful for the abundance maybe uh let me clarify the cards please clarify the chariot please clarify the chariot please and thank you please clarify the chariot please clarify the chariot just love and light Queen of Swords, some kind of taking precaution, moving forward by taking cautious, yes, uh, Ace of Swords, some kind of truth coming out, or some truth is being revealed, followed by the King of Wands, pretty good. So far, so good. I mean, he has basically there's some kind of honesty, some kind of truth coming out. Maybe he's having some, there's some kind of passion he's moving towards. Or maybe this is representing him. He's charismatic, charming, passionate, honest, a leadership as most. Um, but he's moving at a cautious pace because of the Queen of Swords. Um, but he will get the truth. Aiming for victory, truth, whatever it is. So let me check the, let me clarify the Nine Pentacles. Please clarify the Nine Pentacles. Please clarify the Nine Pentacles. Much love and light. Please clarify the Nine Pentacles. We have the Empress in reverse. Page of Cups in reverse. Nine of Wands. Interesting. Why do we have these cards? It's interesting. Mainly because um, There is because that one is about fatigue, persistent, resilient, gathering strength. Or he feel like kind of wounded, but I feel like more gathering strength. Um, maybe a bit fatigue here. Resilient, but he also have the page of cups in reverse, which is. Bad news, maybe some kind of obsession or jealousy. Maybe there's some kind of immaturity going on. And we also have the Empress in reverse. Like maybe anxiety, smothering, selfishness, lack of concentration. Maybe because um, the wealth or maybe whatever he's getting because the nine pentacles people are feeling jealous towards him and which also cause him to feel anxiety maybe feeling undesirable but that's not don't think that is undesirable because everyone loves him like his army loves him maybe it's like i think it's more anxiety and lack of concentration um because of this card because it's like Fatigue, resilient, trying to like a wounded warrior basically holding on. So I think whatever it is, he's trying to hold on, he's trying to, despite the anxiety he's feeling and lack of concentration, and maybe possibly the jealousy from other people because of the web, the accomplishment he had with the Nine Pentacles, he's just holding on. So maybe that is it. That's what I'm getting here. I could be wrong. Um, let me clarify the Ten of Swords. Please clarify the Ten of Swords. Please clarify the Ten of Swords. Much love and light. Please clarify the Ten of Swords.
Seven of Swords in reverse. It came up again. Definitely deception, betrayal. Especially when you come to these with the Ten of Swords. Misfortune. Deception, the star. He also had the Eight of Swords. Okay, I'm seeing here so. So whatever wish fulfillment he has, maybe hopefulness he has, he's he's getting getting some kind of misfortune, like anxiety, some kind of deception. He's feeling hurt. He's feeling the pain. Look at it. he's in pain inside, because and he's in a way trapping himself. He's, I guess, in a way victimizing himself in a way because Eight of Swords. Look at it. he could easily move forward and get away from these swords but he's not he's stuck in this he can get out of this but he's not because he is hurt by deception even though this is reverse this is also this still represent deception um it can also be maybe finding out something something had been revealed to him that feels like betrayal deception to him because at the bottom of the deck he also he has the seven of swords so maybe something that reveals to him that feels like Betrayal, deception, if you hurt and feel like it's just like everything fall apart despite his hopefulness, this, the wish fulfillment because of the star card. Okay, let me see what the outcome is. Okay, the outcome is good. The magician. He has all the tools in his hand to make things happen, to make things go his way. So that's the magician, but let's clarify the magician. Hopefully get something good. Because what he's dealing with right now in the current future is like, Ugh. We don't want a sad J-Hope. He's so hopeful, right? <laughs> That's why the army loves him. Okay, let's cl please clarify the magician card. Please clarify the magician card. The magician card. Okay. Two of coins in reverse. Two of Swords. Three of Swords. Ouch. I was so hopeful. Oh well. So, as you see, there will be some kind of heartbreak because of what happened. Possible betrayal or deception. Um, He's... I guess you could say he's in fear, doubtful, um, maybe in denial, he's in a precarious position, um, maybe he's also facing his fear, but he, in the end he still feel hurt, he still feel heartbroken because of three of swords, and we also have the two of Points in reverse, which again overwhelm this organization. Maybe whatever is going on, there's a facade, but I'm feeling maybe he's feeling overwhelmed right now. He's out of balance, overwhelmed. Okay, let's clarify the Seven of Swords. Please grab the seven of swords. Please grab the seven of swords. Please, I thank you. Five of cups in reverse. Please grab the seven of swords. Please grab the seven of swords. Followed by the Queen of Cups, Ace of Wands in reverse. Queen of Cups in reverse, Ace of Wands in reverse, four, Five of Cups in reverse. He's moving forward, he's moving on despite the deception, but however, um, 
whoever this is, they're deceiving him, making him feel betrayed. Uh, there is some, it's probably due to immaturity, selfishness, um, or maybe he's sulking. But I don't see that here. I'm seeing more of, yeah, maybe a creative block because, or maybe some delays or bad news. But otherwise, he's trying to move on despite everything. But yeah, so that is J Hope. I hope you guys enjoy that despite how it goes. Let's give J Hope some hope. He needs all the hope if this is true. Let me see if there's any advice that uh, Spirit Guys can give him. Spirit Guys, what advice can you give to J Hope? What advice can you give to J Hope? Peace out with you. Much love and light. Pop up, both step forward. Interesting. Okay, maybe another card. I feel like I should get another card. Can you feel it? Netcaster preparation. Preparation comes to fruition. Interesting. Okay, let's see what they say here in the book. Okay. So, Netcaster, it says here. So, it tells him to stop praying for the fish that it has arrived, that it's time for his, him to cast the nets lest they swim away. Everything that he longed for will be within reach. It has been so long since your prayers were answered that you have forgotten how to receive what is being offered to you. Put down the prayer beads and open your arms and your heart to reward beyond measure. Cast a net. net. So basically telling him to take the next step. Um, in fact, he's going to plan. So basically, it's buy your time. Until all the conditions are right. Go to your place of stillness, of deep quiet, and watch for the signs that a new opportunity has arrived. Right now, you are patient because you fear that things will go your way. Learn to be patient with the people and situations that are more challenging. Okay. Let's look at 55. For the gate. Um... So it's a, this when this pop up shows up, a clear claw to lift your eyes to the horizon and begin to move forward towards the begin to walk toward your future. Marching in place right now, still in the dust, but not getting in, anywhere. Trust that your forward movement will lead you to a new destination that you have already set for yourself, but you perhaps have forgotten or neglected because of your everyday busyness. If this card comes to tell you that an ending is at hand, that you can leave the old behind. Let it peel away like an old skin you shed. Do not hesitate. Cross the feast hold boldly and you'll be rewarded. Basically to move forward. Don't give up. Have the courage to move forward. And you'll succeed. Basically that's what it is. Okay, so that is J Hope. I do hope you guys enjoyed. Um, let me see. Uh, like I said, if it resonates, it resonates. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Up to you. So next one is for the for the one for Jimin. Jimin. Look, many people love this boy. Let me have a drink. Okay. Still, guys, I can try to tell me what is happening to Jimin. What is coming his way? Please, love and light. Please tell me. I appreciate it. Please and thank you. Okay. 
what is coming to Jimmy's way, what is going to happen, uh, what is happening to him right now, please tell me, please tell us, what's going on tonight. Past, present, future, current future, outcome. Okay, bottom deck we have the sun. Happiness. Bright, joyful happiness. I think a lot of people would describe Gemini as bright, joyful happiness. Maybe. <laughs> I could be wrong. <laughs> okay, let's look at the past. Past we have the five of pentacles. Oh boy. Present moment, we have the Emperor. Mm. Current future, out. Three of Swords. I think these are quite explanatory, but especially the Three of Swords. I have no control. But may pop up. I do apologize for those who love Jimin. I do apologize. But yeah, in the past he had some kind of insecurity, hard time, maybe awareness of loss, maybe neglecting body needs. He that is what he felt in the past. He just have a lot of hard times and insecurity going on in the past, which is why there's five pentacles, if you look at. But in the current uh, moment, he is the emperor. He created order, despite all the chaos, authority, leadership, leadership, strength. He is the emperor in the present moment. But in the future, he, the current future, he is free of sorts, heartbreak. Okay, let's clarify it, the cards. Please clarify the Five of Pentacles, the Most of Night. Please clarify the Five of Pentacles. Let's see. The devil, temptation, an addition, maybe to work, overworking, maybe. Queen of coins in reverse. Followed by the chariot. Not bad. So, whatever is causing him. Insecurity um, is very to somebody maybe he's feeling the addiction, maybe overworking, temptation, um, and possibly due to third party of maybe there's some kind of jealousy, lack of organization, maybe there's some kind of manipulation going on in his life, who knows, and but despite all these, he's trying to move forward because of the chariot. Chariot is a moving card. It's moving forward. And he's moving towards to be an emperor, which he is in the present moment. So let's clarify the emperor card. Nine of Swords. The Empress. Ooh. 
10 of coins in reverse. Okay. It's not that bad. Uh, he might not have the full completion, but he has the Empress. He's the Emperor and he has his Empress. Or uh, he is both the Empress and the Emperor. And, but the thing is, even though he's not, basically he's nurturing, he's, because Empress is all about nurturing, being a, someone that is very, it's like, it's like, um, Magandela, um, Jesus' mother, maybe something like that, basically like that, it's like a, you can tell, mother figure, maybe, um, but he also has a knife source. Um... For Nine of Swords, it's basically someone that is filled with terror, anxiety, nightmares. Um, he's, he's, which kind of relates to his past form. But even though he's feeling that he's moving forward, becoming the person he's becoming, the Empress, the Emperor, even though he's not getting the full completion, not getting the Ten of Cups, he's not getting that. But he's trying to remain hopeful, nurturing kind person like himself but he would get his heartbreak I think it's all because of the anxiety insecurity but I'm gonna clarify the three of source to see please clarify please clarify the three of source please clarify nine of wands in reverse Five of Wands in reverse. Five of Swords. Sorry about that. I had to pause for a moment um, because I was called to do something. Anyways, um, so for the Three of Swords, there is some kind of whatever is causing him heartbreak because of someone who's trying to win at all costs. You can tell. Some kind of fight, maybe with a cost at all costs, this, no matter the consequences. And he's trying to avoid conflict because the Bible wants is in reverse. But despite all that, he has the nine of wands in reverse. Because in the upright, you guys know it's about a wounded warrior trying to hold his ground not given up but this one is a stalemate hesitance or maybe given in to whatever it is that's happening in his life so i don't know what's going on in his life maybe something has happened who knows but he has the sun card so maybe it's something to do with outcome let me see outcome it's his outcome card is the three of wands so whatever he was hoping for um always he's signing towards is coming in maybe that is why he's feeling happy whether that maybe he's giving him happiness but let me clarify them please clarify the three of wands please clarify the three of wands please clarify the three of wands thank you Two card pops up. Okay. One is the world completion. Ace of Swords. Some truth. Some victory coming in. The star in reverse. Hmm. Even though the star is in reverse, not what he's hoped for, but it still causes him completion. Some kind of truth. So whatever troop is coming in, it's not what he, he hopes for, but there will be completion uh, and still he'll have the happiness. But I'm going to clarify the sun as well. Okay, please clarify for me the sun card. Please clarify, much love and nice because I can show. Please tell me. Please clarify the sun. Please and thank you.
we have the four new beginning followed by the page of wise in reverse and the judgment card so some kind of judgment that he has to make um there's some kind of judgment some new beginnings uh but he has the page of wands so it in reverse so there's some kind of naivety maybe some kind of petulance or pessimism but he will get uh some kind of new beginning some kind of judgment um it's all good actually to, to be fair it's all about improvement judgment is about improvement maybe change your perspective so it's a rebirth basically it's coincide with this rebirth new beginnings so that is the uh, cause for him in terms of the uh, sun card so let me get some advice for him um hold on my battery is getting low so we can charge just give me one moment I'm just trying to charge my phone is kind of getting low on battery so i do apologize if the angle is not great ah. I'm doing what I can. Okay. Okay, not good. Okay. Sorry about this. Try my best. This is annoying. Because the, I'm using a cord cable. Okay. I'm getting annoyed. Okay, that works. Sorry about that. Uh, let's get some advice card. Do apologize for the angle. My battery's at 15%, so I had to try. What advice can you give to Jimin? Please and thank you. Let's talk So guys, please tell me about advice you can give to Jimin. Please and thank you. Ugh. Please tell me what advice can you give to Jimin. Please and thank you. and organization so pull one more card okay deep quiet spirit guys told me to pull this deep quiet meditation and stillness I'm interesting one 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 well German if you wish watch, watching this spirit guys telling you something here plus you have the triple ones here so i don't recall what it signifies um but it's significant it's really powerful number um if you want to look it up you can google it triple ones definitely powerful numbers but let me check what it says here okay Hmm, some may say it's a signify this card is signifying relationship, daily life. Or emotional wise. It's basically um saying if your emotional welfare is messy and unruly and you can't seem to get clear, it's time to see how your environment is affecting you. So basically look around your environment, go in within yourself see what is affecting you why it's affecting you and what you can do to change the environment so it also says to tell you to be impeccable with your words say what you mean and be willing to make whatever changes are necessary to clean up your side of the street if you know you are doing the right thing it doesn't matter who has an opinion 
that said, right now, once you are sure your proverbial house is a tidy one, there is a release of energy to begin new things, to enjoy new life. To know that with certainty you are on the right path. Okay, and then we have 11. Deep quiet. So it says here when we don't respond to the invitation offered by the deep quiet, life can stop us in our track with an illness or a crisis. Listen to the still small voice. Remember that you want to catch spirit on a whisper, not a shout. It is only human to argue that you are too busy to slow down, that you don't have time, the inclination, or the money for a retreat. Do not let any of these reasons get the better of you. Stop the world and enter the deep quiet before you came to a crashing halt. After you have said yes to this invitation, you'll find that the world can get along quite well without the need for you to manage it. You will enjoy the freedom that comes with stillness, the clarity and spaciousness offered by the silence. Yeah. So that is the advice they are giving you. They are giving to Jimin. Okay, so hope that resonates. Uh, hope to clear things up. So that was next one is Jung Cook. So his is fifty seven forty two. Jung Cook, the long awaited member for a lot of people. <sighs> Sorry if you're a bit tired and drainish, so do apologize. Okay, let's see what spirit guys have to say. Spirits, I can jump please tell me what's coming towards Jung Cook. Please love and light. Please tell me what's coming towards Jung Cook, what's happening to him. Please thank you. Please tell us. Please tell us what's happening to John Cook. Let's come to him. Please thank you. Okay, one card pop up. Page of Wands pops up. Interesting. Present, a uh, past, present, current, future, outcome. But on the deck, we have the Three of Wands. Three of Wands have been popping up for a couple of the members lately. Yep, so something's coming in, or some, or they're moving towards something. Okay, let's see the past. The past, he is the Emperor. I don't think I need to explain that. It's pretty sad. explanatory. Because I just explained it to you guys for German, so yeah, he's the emperor in the past. But what is the present? It's like German and Jungko has switched cards. Because we have the present for three of swords. You saw me shuffle, so I don't know what's going on. But uh, in the current future, he has the Six Pentacles. So he is, how should I put it? I guess in a way, watering or cultivating whatever his accomplishment he's. But you can tell, you can see here, there's this plant. It's like a sparkling well, it's fulfillment, hoping it grow to cultivate. But yeah. 
Let's clarify the Emperor. Praise the Emperor. Press the green light. I said thank you. Knight of Coins. Some mo slow movement. Please clarify the Emperor. Please clarify the Emperor. Seven of Cups. Choices. Page of Cups. Okay, I'm just going to see her say this. Um, even though he has the Emperor in the past, I'm seeing Jungkook as more of the Page of Cups because the pages is kind of a bit young. Um, a lot of emotions, a lot of... I should put it. There is a lot of youthfulness, idealism, Maybe with mentalism, spirituality, sensitivity. Basically, it's just really youthful, young, you can tell. And he has choices um, to make because, and he's making a slow choice, slow movement to make the choice. Whatever it is in his life, but he is the emperor. He is the leadership authority. Uh, but I'm guessing from what I'm seeing here because he because the patient comes also about idealism. So whatever it is, it might have influenced him in the present moment, which caused him to be having some heartbreak. But I'm just gonna clarify the heartbreak of sorts to see what is causing him to feel heartbreak. Please clarify the three of sorts, please and thank you. Much love the night. Okay, the chariot in reverse, no movement, nothing is moving forward, he stands still, stalemate. With the hangman in reverse, and the queen of wands. Yeah, um, don't know how to say this. There is some kind of willfulness, but there's kind of there's some kind of useless sacrifice, whatever it is, it might be kind of feeling this rushing thoughtlessness to it that causes him to feel heartbreak and make him feel stagnant, stalemate. Um, even though there is some kind of independence, confidence, passion, optimism. I think what's happening is that whatever optimism, comp compassion here, passion here has, um, he was reckless. He was, which caused him to have useless, uh, um, taking useless actions um, that causes him to be stalemate, that end because of the cherry in reverse, which is why he's feeling we have sort of heartbreak. I don't know what kind of action he took, but it was not helpful. In a way, it was kind of reckless from what I'm seeing from the cards. He was being independent, he was being passionate, being optimistic, but maybe a bit prideful, maybe too much confidence, overconfidence. That it just kind of hurt him in the end. But let me look, or maybe it will help, maybe in the future. I'm seeing here maybe, I'm getting a feeling that whatever action he's taking in the current moment, maybe that is how he feels, but he's not, he doesn't know that in the future he, there might be, this is his of pentacles. It's like he's doing something like in the present moment and 
is causing this growth. But he doesn't realize it just yet. Maybe some kind of insecurity. Um, maybe self-doubt himself. Maybe it could be that. But let me clarify. Please clarify the Six of Pentacles. Please clarify the Six of Pentacles. Much love and light. Please say thank you. Please clarify the Six of Pentacles. Please clarify the Six of Pentacles. Devil, temptation, Ace of Cups in reverse, High Priestess in reverse. He's not doing it using his intuition. He's, uh, it's all about temptation here. Wherever he, wherever action was taken. The, that was. In a way, useless, um, maybe this is not helpful, maybe you could say, not helpful actions. It's, part, it's caused by temptation, hoping, he is hoping there's some kind of fruitation, some kind of outcome, good outcome come of it, of his hard work, but it's not doing so because, and he's not, because he's not following his intuition. That's the high priestess in reverse, and he's not getting his cup, ace of cups. It's in reverse. Yeah, it's all because of this devil, the temptation or addition. But I'm seeing more of a temptation here. Yeah. He's definitely filled with idealism, youthfulness, idealism. He's going forward in his life with that mindset because of the Knight of Wands, passionate. Yeah. Maybe, maybe because whatever he's expecting in, in his world, maybe, maybe some kind of profession. Well, it's not what he and what it ends up to be. It's caused him to be sad and disappointment. Maybe that's why. Okay, let me see what the outcome is. Okay, not bad. Well, despite the cause in the past, present, and current future, his outcome is the Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups. Wish fulfillment card. So, so he gets his wish fulfillment. He's going to be the future is assured. There's bounty on the horizon. Um, maybe that is why the bottom of the deck is the three of wands. The bounties at the horizon. Okay, let me clarify the Nine of Cups. Hopefully it's a good card. Hopefully. Please clarify the Nine of Cups. Please and thank you. Please clarify the Nine of Cups. King of Swords in reverse, followed by the Temperance and the Six of Cups. Not bad. So, the outcome.
problem is he do get his wish fulfillment, um, but it requires patience. He would get his reward if he were to be patient because of the temperance. However, he has the King of Swords in the first which represents someone that's like a dictator, cruelty, violence, oppression. I hope that's not him, but it could be someone who's being that way, blocking him. Could be either way. Um, but he get his six of cups, which is nostalgia, old friends, maybe simple joy. I'm seeing more of a simple joy, so he get his the, the simple joy as long as he stay patient, enjoy, stay patient, and he gets his six of cups, and then which comes towards the nine of cups. Okay, let me clarify the three of wands. Three of wands. Please clarify the three of wands. Please, uh, thank you. Six of coins, seven of wands in reverse, the hermit. Okay, so this fire weapon is coming in, he's going into hermit mode. But hermit mode, he's introspecting, he's looking within, um, but he's not really working He, seven of wands in reverse. Okay, um, usually in the other tile, that seven of wands in reverse is, well, in the upright is being defensive. He's defending himself, uh, but in this case, um, it does not look like he's defending himself. Yeah, I'm seeing him more be overwhelmed, timidly, given up, defeat maybe, but that is his. It's like a depressive thought thinking. Maybe that's why he went into hermit mode. But despite going to hermit mode, he will get what he hoped for because of the six of coins. Because kindness, value, reward, generosity, charity. So he would get it, but he's just in hermit mode. Okay, let's, let me ask advice from the spirit guys. Uh, hello, Terry. Terry wants to play. Huh? You want to play, Terry? Yeah, you want to play? Yeah. Terry wants to play. <laughs> yeah, he just came by and licked my foot. Wanting attention. You love the attention? Yeah? You want to shuffle together? Shuffle, ask the still guts. Advice? You want advice? <laughs> okay. So guys, please tell me what advice can you give to Joko? hard to shuffle with him at the front but he wants to spend time with me what advice can you give to John Cook? please tell me okay forgiveness Uh, 
sure some of the advice can you give to Jungkook? Please, thank you. Okay. Oh, be quiet again. I'm not going to explain the be quiet one because I will talk about one, that one for Jimin. If you guys don't recall. Um, but I'm just going for the forgiveness part. Okay, repairing the fail, making amends, recognition of our unity. Okay, it says here, between us all is a thin veil appearing to be a space that separates us. We look through this veil believe, and believe ourselves to be distinct from each other. We assume that our thoughts and feelings are our own. We see bodies and objects and the spaces between them. So we engage the world in relationships between a duality of us and them. This veil serves as a mysterious illusion, making it so hard to believe in our inherent connection and unity. We can't always remember that what we do to someone else, we, are, we at the same time do to ourselves. When we crawl out the veil of fear, anger, jealousy, or resentment, manipulate others, misuse our powers, or allow someone's action to diminish us, we create a wound felt by many, not just those of us in the smaller, direct relationship. Now is the time to examine where your actions have caused difficulty or harm to someone else, and also where you have been the recipient of harm. Regardless of what side you are on, it's important to take responsibility for healing the swift by bringing love, compassion, deep listening, pre and presence to whatever is not in harmony. Do this for you and for your own liberty, as you become an unwritten hostage once you take the role of perpetrator or victim, both position of weakness. Let go of all your resentment. Know your part in the dynamics. Make the appropriate amends with that newfound wisdom and understanding, healing, forgiveness, and mending what is broken in your world is a sweet, much needed declaration of freedom. Okay. So that is the advice, and I mostly want him to go within, be quiet, permit more basically. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed that one. Um, Hit the like button if you like this video, subscribe to my channel. Like I said, this is just entertainment purpose only. It may not resonate. If it does, that's good for you. Okay, I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Okay, bye. Say, say bye. <laughs>